What's up, CW fans? If you are a Parks on the Air person, you love chasing parks, you're going to want to check this out. Uh, if you're not a Parks on the Air person, uh, that's okay. You're probably still going to want to check this out. Um, if you go to uh, Parks on the Air app, so pota.app, you get um, your screen like this, right? If you check out the maps, and I don't know why it just automatically defaults there for me, but it does. If we pop out and go to where I live, which is right about right here, and if you notice, I was looking at you know some of these parks that are near me, and um, one of the folks in our local club here in Chicago pointed out, hey, you know, there's this park like out in the lake. Nobody's ever activated it, and we want to activate it. So this weekend, uh, tomorrow, Saturday, let's see, what is it, July? Uh, no, it's August 23rd. What am I thinking, July? That's kind of stupid. We're going to activate this park. It's going to be uh, the J.D. Marshall State Nature Preserve. It's going to be park number 10256. We are going to, uh, one of our club members has a boat, and I, I think it's like a yacht, basically, um, only because my only real experience with boats is either a cruise ship or a rowboat or a canoe. So this is somewhere in the middle of that. So we're going to um, jump in the boat. They have this uh, quarantined off with uh, buoys, so you know where it is. We're going to um, you know jump in there, anchor down, and uh, I'm going to bring my K3S with me, and I think we're going to have an ICOM 7300, and we're going to activate the heck out of this. Definitely going to be doing CW, and uh, we might even be doing some sideband, uh, I believe. So uh, maybe even some FT8. We'll see. We'll see what happens. We're going to bring all the things with us so that we can have a successful activation. Um, we are each. There's going to be three of us, and each one of us is going to try to get the the required minimum QSOs to uh, call it an activation for each one of our call signs, which would be pretty cool. So I'm super excited about it. Uh, I don't necessarily like boats, but uh, this is one of those exceptions that I'm definitely going to make. Uh, we're going to jump out into Lake Michigan. Actually, you know, I was looking at this, and while it might be on the danger zone level of like near 1 through 10, like 10, um, Lake Michigan does freeze near the shores, and I'm wondering if it freezes enough out so that you know maybe this could be activated in the winter time i might even try that out because uh quite frankly that is uh, not far from my house because my house is over here and that's where the uh, activation is so pretty cool uh, i'm going to do as much youtube as humanly possible about this so if you know of anyone that's looking for some rare parks that they don't have their park hunters uh, tell them about this activation. It's going to happen on, um, like I said, Saturday, uh, not in July. It's going to be August uh, 24th. So uh, August 24th and um, 2024, and we're going to activate it. We'll uh, we'll see what happens. Anyways, I hope to work you. Uh, we'll probably be a little bit uh, maybe faster on the CW speed because there might be a ton of people that we're trying to grab, and uh, hopefully we'll have a successful activation and we've got all the antennas worked out. Uh, we'll have a couple of radios. Uh, one is a backup just in case. Uh, so it's going to be a great time. Anyways, hope to work you on the bands. CW on, my friends. We'll see you then.